Hi, it's Gab and Dad. Hello. And we're reviewing a movie called Take, Take Shelter, Shelter, which is a smallish, a small independent film, um, which you may have heard of, but it's not exactly um, one of the big titles of the week, but a very interesting little movie. What's it about, Dad? Um, well, I have to be careful telling you what it's about because I don't want to give anything away, and it's the kind of movie that would be easy to give something away. Mm -hmm. But it, the bare bones of the movie, it's, a, it's set in a small town, I think in Texas. It's a family consisting of husband, wife, and a child, a girl who happens to be deaf, although that doesn't really seem to play into the plot particularly. A little bit, perhaps. Yeah. And they're an ordinary, nice, loving family. Blue collar. Blue collar. Uh, but then the husband starts having very troubling dreams and sort of maybe even hallucinations. And uh, they're, very vivid they're very vivid, they're very disturbing, uh, they're about, for the most part about horrible kind of natural disasters, but not just in the abstract, happening to him and to his family and his area, and he's particularly concerned about this because his mother, when she was about his age, I was diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic. Which isn't so, revealed right away, no. but... No, but it that but it that that's I don't think that's a spoiler. No, and I mean, he's troubled because he's worried about his. his yeah, he's he thinks state. he thinks he may be yeah. going crazy. He thinks he may be following his mother's footsteps, and so that kind of idea plays out through the film, and I think that's about as far as I can go without uh, running the serious risk of a spoiler. I would just add that while he does fear for his his mental health, there's on the other side of the coin, he sort of is believing some sort of reality of something bad coming because he starts to do preparations Oh yes, that's, thank you, that's an important that's point. That's important. Yeah, the way he res one, one of the ways he responds to these horrible dreams he has of kind of natural disaster striking his town, and striking his family, is he starts uh, building a very elaborate tornado shelter in his backyard. Um, and indeed that's, I guess, and it's at least one of the meanings of shelter in the title, take shelter, not the only meaning, but one of the meanings. The literal meaning, and he yeah. spends a lot of, he becomes obsessed with it, building this shelter um, to the detriment of his work and his family relationships yeah. and so on. Yeah, because he's having this experience where whether it's real or not, he's yeah. manifesting it yeah. in some ways. I mean, on the one hand, he mind. fears he may be going crazy because of these visions that he has, but on the other hand, in real life, he responds to them by building this shelter. Yeah, and I think it's important to establish, even though it was a bit of a complicated setup, because that's really what the the bulk of the movie is about. As an audience, as you're, as as the viewer, your experience is you're trying to make your own conclusion as to is this just a demonstration yeah. of mental illness or is is there really something coming? Or, or is indeed his building, yeah, is his building the shelter just, a, you know, a, another manifestation of the right. mental illness? And, and the film walks this kind of tight tightrope yeah. between these two concepts. And that's what gives the film, primarily what gives the film its interest. Yes, and its theme and its interest. So that's what the main, the main character is going through is sort of what the viewer is going through. You're never quite yeah. clear. The main character uh, is played by a fine actor, Michael Shannon, um, who you may have seen in Revolutionary Road. And I can't off the top of my head name something else. I mean, he's not, no, uh, he's not, a well -known he's not an A-list actor, but he's excellent. Very believable. His wife, Jessica Chastain, Yes, who, whom I just saw just the day before we we, we went to see Take Shelter. I saw her in Tree of the Tree of Life, which by which I watched on video. And by the way, I think is a great movie. It's, I hadn't seen it before. Tree of Life, great movie. She's and to in that. Mention another movie just a bit randomly, but this made me think a little bit of Melancholia, which I reviewed because I saw it at TIFF. And there's similar sorts of themes. I think that they would maybe with Tree of Life, they'd make a good, like a good marathon viewing, or maybe not so good. Um, very tough. Deep, troubling stuff. Um, now, my reaction to this film, Take Shelter, was was ambivalent. I mean, on the one hand, I found it, as I think we were supposed to find it, kind of disturbing. I mean, it kind of put you off kilter. It, I mean, the ambiguity that we talked about earlier made one uneasy. Uh, and I think, I'm sure the director who was... Somebody. Somebody. I mean, somebody would be glad to hear that, because I, I think that's what, the, what it was supposed to evoke. I think so, for sure. Part of that was a very slow pacing. Mm -hmm. The film is a long film. It's too long. Too long. It's very slow pacing, and at times, I'm, oh, God, come on, get on with it, you know. I got kind of irritated and even to some extent bored. Uh, so I think there's a, there was a problem there, at least for me. Yeah, they, they, they dragged that 
too much. There were certain scenes and elements that I think could have been cut back on um, and not have lost that effect. Um, but we say that practically about every film that we review. <laughs> Well, we do. And this was a film where a slow pace to some extent was necessary right. to create the right sort of atmosphere. But I think it was, maybe I'm just too impatient, but I think it was no, too... No, I agree. It was taken I got kind of fidgety. Well, I got kind of fidgety. You know, I, sort of think, I, I think I said to you, it felt almost like we'd seen a play. Um, just in terms of pacing and length. And, and it, it just as a film, I think, could have been tighter. Um, that being said, I think that it did the job well in, in, in the way, the tone that it evoked in, in the viewer and, and the ambiguity. And to the end, I was, although we had sort of said that we'd sort of made up our minds towards the end of what the point it was trying to make was, and then we maybe changed our yeah, minds. I don't, I, yeah, I don't think you want to say too much. No, I, we don't want to spoil anything, but it's, it, you're rewarded if you yeah, let I mean, yourself be open-minded throughout the whole film. I think, I think we could say without without being too worried that the best part of this film is the ending. It does put things in perspective as to what you were thinking up to that point, yeah. which is which is a which is a good thing. So I was left overall quite satisfied with the experience. I like these sort of um, difficult, um, thought provoking, um, uncomfortable making sorts of films. Maybe not when I'm nine months pregnant so much, but <laughs> you know, it's it's always good to yeah. feel something and to have to think about something. It's always good. And just one other comment I would make, and I'm not sure whether this really is it makes much sense or not, but some of the reviews of this film I've looked at or comments on the film connect it with the generally kind of parlous state of the world today. Mm -hmm. Because there's definitely an element of foreboding in this film. The sure. sense that something really bad could happen. We don't know what, quite what it's going to be, but something really bad could happen. And some reviewers have picked up on this and said that it particularly speaks to the time that we unfortunately happen to be in. And our powerlessness. And our and power, powerlessness. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, and it, like Melancholia, which I would recommend. It, yeah. There's certainly, there's a theme, there's, there's several films out round about now that have that very strong sort of uh, undertone, either overtly or, 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 or as a subtext. And I like that. I mean, that's that's living, right? Anyway, how, how that's many... That's film reviewing. That's film reviewing. <laughs> I have um, a sense of foreboding. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I always do I, with I, always have a, yeah, I, wake, um, I wake up in the morning, the first thing, foreboding. <laughs> How and it's all downhill, downhill from there. Down. I mean, uphill. Um, I, I would struggle a little bit with it, but overall I'd have to give it, I think I'd give it three and three quarter gaps. I would give it the same. I I might have been inclined to give it four, but I don't think it quite gets there. It doesn't me. quite elevate it. doesn't it's quite level. get there. But it's interesting, and I would recommend it, it. Is it a rental, or would you tell people to go to the cinema? I think it? renting's fine. Yeah, I think renting's fine. Probably easier, because you may not find this uh, so easily in the theaters. Yeah, okay. Take shelter. It's interesting. Thanks, interesting, Dad. Interesting, yeah. Okay.